If you need to take a moment to pause the video and reread the problem, please go ahead and do so. My apologies for my voice. I am a little bit sick in this video. Our goal is to find the electric potential located 12 centimeters from the center of a ball that has a uniform charge distribution. So let's go ahead and take a look at the scenario here. In the center of the picture, we have that charged ball. We have labeled the charge on that ball Q, and our objective is to calculate the electric potential at a distance 12 centimeters from that charged ball. Now, when we go to do that, we're going to use the expression to calculate the electric potential, which is equal to K times Q divided by R. Now, the only way that we can do this successfully is if we know the charge Q on that ball, and right now we don't know the charge on that ball. But that's where Gauss's law is going to help us out. Gauss's law, as you may recall from an earlier chapter, tells us that the electric flux that's passing through that purple Gaussian sphere would equal the charge enclosed by the purple Gaussian sphere. Notice that the charge enclosed by the Gaussian sphere is that orange charge marked Q divided by a fundamental constant. So if we multiply both sides of this equation by that fundamental constant, then we would have the constant times the electric flux through the Gaussian surface is equal to Q. That would give us the amount of charge on that ball. And what we can do is take that expression for Q and we can substitute it in for the Q of our electric potential equation. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we have our setup. All we need to do is go back and get the value of the electric flux, which is given in this quantity right here. And then again, we have the distance to the point in question, which was 12 centimeters. Just make sure you divide that by 100 to get it into meters. So let's go ahead and plug in the known values. And when you punch that into your calculator and you simplify it, go and get a value of approximately 3.71 times 10 to the power of 4. This is an electric potential, so the fundamental unit here is in volts, and this is the correct answer to the question.